piss. This is the Ride Wrap Installation Kit System. The box is harder to open than I thought it would be. It comes with a squeegee, a towel, some extra Ride Wrap brand stickers, the solution that you mix with water, alcohol pads to make sure the bike frame is clean, a nice instruction sheet with pictures, and the actual Ride Wrap is in this roll. I'm going to attempt to put this on the new bike. I have watched some videos and I'm a little bit nervous because the company makes it sound like it's a breeze in their videos and others have had issues. My bike is brand new. It has not been ridden. I am not washing the bike or taking it apart to wash it. I'm just going to use the alcohol pads to clean it. If your bike has been ridden, I suggest you give it a good washing. You will need a spray bottle. Luckily I have an empty muck off cleaning solution bottle. This bottle is a liter, which is what you're supposed to mix with 0.5 milliliters of the solution with. They say that is four drops. However, I've not seen a video in which someone actually gets it to drop. The solution doesn't really separate into drops. Therefore, I will use a very precise syringe that only holds one milliliter total in order to make the perfect mixture. So grab your syringe, make sure it says 0.5 milliliters in the middle of the syringe before you mix the solution. You don't want 5 milliliters going into the liter of water. I have my liter of water in the bottle, I measure 0.5 milliliters in the syringe, and then I add it to the bottle and shake the bottle a little bit. I then go to the sink and spray it a few times to ensure the solution is in the sprayer. The ride wrap sheet is big and all of the pieces are on the same sheet. They are numbered on the instruction paper, however they are no longer numbered on the actual ride wrap sheet. Make sure you look closely at the section before you begin. You do want to start with the section labeled number one and work your way up through the numbers. There are also extra pieces in case you want to cover some other areas of your bike. I also have a hair dryer on hand, just in case. As a side note, my bike already came with protection on the underside, so I won't be using section number 5. I will also instead save that for the future, just in case. From here, you are supposed to spray the whole sheet to get rid of static. However, I'm going to have to make some precise cuts in order to fit certain sections on the frame. So I'm going to cut these sections off that I'm using in order to line them up on the frame mark them, and then cut them. Be sure not to stick any of the pieces on the colored area of the sheet or on another piece. Like I said, the Giant has a chain guard on it already, so I have to custom cut the ride wrap. I am getting the small section I need here. Be careful to stay between the pieces so that you don't wreck another piece. Now I mark and cut the piece so it fits perfect. Then I clean the part of the bike I'm applying the ride wrap to with the alcohol pad. Make sure the alcohol has evaporated before moving on. I then spray the ride wrap to eliminate static. I spray the bike with the solution as well. I unpeel the ride wrap and then I spray the other side of the ride wrap and apply. A little trick that seems to help during my application was to give the wrap a little shake before applying after you spray it. It seemed like there was too much solution on the wrap and this seemed to make the process better in my case. I started with the squeegee, but I quickly realized that my thumbs did a better job getting the ride wrap on. I also started from the middle of the piece that I was applying and worked my way to either edge. Make sure you pay close attention and get all the air bubbles out of the piece. I rotate the bike and do the same process on the opposite side with no cutting. The first few pieces went on extremely well, but that wasn't the case for all pieces. Again, wipe down with alcohol pad, spray the bike, spray both sides of the wrap, and apply. Same process in section two with the third and fourth piece. You can see on piece four, which is section two, I had to make cuts again due to pre-existing protection on the bike.
Next is section three, which has two pieces to apply as well. They both go on pretty smooth. The process is exactly the same as before. Section four is where I ran into problems and maybe someone has a solution. I did the normal process. Things were going great again. And then I noticed a little black mark on the paper. I tried wiping it off on the outside and it was apparent that it was on the underside. I didn't want the speck to be there. So I pulled the section back and tried to scrape the black mark out. I then realized that it was in the ride wrap itself. Rat black spot which sucks so this is my most difficult piece i am not liking all the bubbles in this one piss oh gosh so i just went ahead and continued to put the ride wrap on i think because i pulled the wrap off and then tried putting it back on i was now dealing with a ton of air bubbles that were almost impossible to get out this piece probably took me more than 30 minutes to do, and I was not able to get all the air bubbles out, even aggressively using the squeegee. Ugh, there's so many air bubbles. I think I wrecked it when I pulled it back off because of this black spot in the tape. I was so aggressive with the squeegee, pressing so hard that I got so hot that I had to take my sweatshirt off. I thought I could one-time it with a perfect job, having never done it before, but the black speck had other plans. Let me know in the comments what you think, how your ride wrap went, and if you have any suggestions for the issue I had during my application. Don't try to pull this off once you get it going. This is going to be the worst part of the whole bike. I did my best to make it a little better, but it's just, uh, yeah, it's a bummer. Everything else is golden. All the other ones are great, no bubbles. I think what happened is when I saw that imperfection, I pulled this back to try to get it. And then when I pulled that off and pulled it back up to here, this whole area is just full of bubbles now.